want to avoid medications and lower your blood pressure naturally by the end of this video I'll give you eight suggestions on how you can get your blood pressure under control without drugs good morning health-minded people I'm dr. snow and as a pharmacist for more than 30 years I've been helping my patients get their blood pressure under control both with medications and by natural means high blood pressure is bad while the former upper limit was 140 over 90 the new guideline goals set the bar at less than 120 over 80 uncontrolled blood pressure has been associated with memory loss dementia kidney disease blindness heart attacks heart disease strokes and aneurysms so you can see why getting your blood pressure under control is really important and because most people don't feel any different when their blood pressure is high hypertension has been called the silent killer 70 percent of controlling your blood pressure involves lifestyle changes and only 30 percent can be controlled by medication but changing your lifestyle means making a conscious choice to live a healthier life are you ready to practice self-control in order to avoid medications if possible the first and most important change to make is if you smoke stop period second if you're a woman don't drink more than one alcoholic beverage per day and if you're a man limit it to two excessive alcohol consumption has been linked with high blood pressure third get plenty of sleep sleep deprivation has been linked with all kinds of health issues so get at least seven or eight hours of sleep every night develop a good bedtime routine and repeat it every night so that your mind and your body understand that when you start this routine it's time to go to sleep fourth limit your salt or sodium intake to 2500 milligrams per day this means quit adding salt to your food and then you'll know what your food really tastes like food doesn't really taste salty or it shouldn't also because potassium can lower your blood pressure eat your potassium foods like spinach and other dark leafy vegetables peas cucumber sweet potatoes and broccoli are rich in potassium and potassium has been shown to normalize your blood pressure so eat a little potassium every day fifth if you are overweight try to lose some weight even losing 10 pounds can drop your blood pressure by 2 to 10 millimeters of mercury find out what your ideal body weight is and make that your goal but lose weight slowly you didn't gain that weight overnight and it doesn't help to try to lose weight quickly and then gain it all back within a few months aim for one to two pounds a week or up to ten pounds per month to help you determine your ideal body weight I'll put a link in the description below eating a healthy heavy on the vegetables diet is a great place to start vegetables not only provide lots of vitamins and minerals to help you function properly at the cellular level but they're full of fiber which helps you to feel full and satisfied quicker and longer so you eat less number six just by getting hundred and fifty minutes of moderate exercise each week has been shown to lower the blood pressure by up to eight millimeters of mercury as long as you keep the routine up once you stop your blood pressure will go back to its baseline walking is a great low impact way of getting exercise without having to purchase any equipment even if it's raining you can march in place in front of the television while watching your favorite show but it's best to get outside and walk because walking outside can be relaxing and that brings me to tip number seven relax you need to reduce your stress as much as it is within your control avoid things that cause you stress leave 15 minutes early to go to work to avoid traffic play relaxing music while you're driving 
Watch a funny movie and laugh a lot, but not while you're driving. Get a pet. Pets have been shown to lower your blood pressure, especially dogs, because dogs can be calming and they need exercise, so they get you out to give them a walk a couple of times a day. So you get more exercise. Double benefit. Make a list of God's blessings that he has given to you and meditate on these on a daily basis, multiple times a day, being thankful for what he has given you. If this video is helping you, press that like button. Number eight, monitor your blood pressure. Take your blood pressure at least once each day, but don't take it at the same time every day so you can see what your blood pressure is doing. Keep a log of what your number is and also write down what's been going on in the last hour or the last day. Analyze what makes your blood pressure go up and down. Is your blood pressure higher in the morning, the afternoon, or the evening? Did you drink too much coffee this morning and now your blood pressure is up? Did you go for a 45 minute walk last night and now your blood pressure is down? Did you have an argument with your spouse and your blood pressure is through the roof? By analyzing how different situations and different events affect your blood pressure, you can begin incorporating more of the good and less of the bad influences into your life. No two people are alike, and what lowers or raises your blood pressure may have no effect on the next person. Get to know yourself. Even keeping a daily log for only a month will help you to notice trends and understand how different situations can affect you. What have you found that works to help you lower your blood pressure? Comment below what keeps your blood pressure normal. Your experience may help someone else. If you have found this information helpful, please press that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to hit that little bell so that you'll be notified every Monday when I post a new video that's designed to help you navigate the sometimes confusing healthcare system. Thank you for joining me today to learn how to naturally keep your blood pressure within normal range and hopefully keep you off of the blood pressure medications. Stay healthy, wash your hands, and have a blessed week.